Hi, my name is Jada, and this is my audition to work at Sega. I like Sonic. And trust me, there's a lot more where this came from. Anyways, that's my application. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. Head is mad at black, got the boosters black to match. Hey guys, it's me, Jada, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today, we are trying to get a job at Sega. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So, I don't know how many of you know this, or even care, but this year is Sonic the Hedgehog's 30th anniversary. Man, Sonic getting old. Anyways, with this news, of course that means new Sonic things. For example, there is going to be a remaster of Sonic Colors called Sonic Colors Ultimate coming out September 7th. There's going to be an entirely new Sonic game coming out next year. There's going to be the sequel to the Sonic movie, the Sonic movie 2, and there's even going to be a new Sonic Netflix show called Sonic Crime. So with all of this news, I thought, what other games could Sega give us for the 30th anniversary? Quick interruption. So you may have noticed that I have been mentioning a company called Sega a lot in this video. So for those of you who live under a rock, Sega is the company that made Sonic and a few others, but who really knows any of those? Go ahead, name one other Sega franchise. Alright, I can say Knights of Monkey Ball, but that's only because of All-Star Racing Transformed. Anyways, let's get back into your regularly scheduled video. First idea, Sonic Riders Port Dash Remaster. Sonic Riders, both the original and Zero Gravity, were awesome games. The third one, I can't say much about because I personally have never played it, but most people said it's stank. Anyways... Sonic Riders was this racing series where we saw Sonic and friends riding hoverboards, and it was incredible. So my idea is to port these games to modern consoles and maybe even upgrade the graphics. So then to make things easy, just map free riders to buttons, that way we get rid of the motion controls from that game altogether, which was the main complaint from the original. Second idea, Adventure Games Port Dash Remaster. Originally going to happen, but then later cancelled, a Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 remaster would have been incredible to see. Sonic Adventure was the first 3D Sonic game and has set the series on the path that it is on today. The main gimmick of these games was the multiple stories and playable characters, with Adventure 1 having 6, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Big, and Gamma, and then Adventure 2 just narrowing it down to two main stories, Hero and Dark. Both of these games look incredible, so Sega, if you don't want to upgrade the graphics, at least port these to modern consoles. I would love to be able to experience such awesome games. Third idea, Sonic Rush Port Dash Remaster. Man, I am doing a lot of these. Sonic Rush was the first Sonic game to ever use the Boost gameplay style, and has ever since been one of the main gameplay styles of the series. Sonic Rush 1 and 2 follow Sonic and Blaze the Cat as they blast through multiple dynamic levels with awesome soundtracks. Originally on the DS, I think this game would look great with upgraded graphics, and I think it would feel right at home on the Nintendo Switch. These games, I would say, are fairly underrated, so Sega, do us a favor and make this happen. This fourth idea is just a quick one, and that is to bring the Werehog to Team Sonic Racing. Now, I am sure a lot of you are wondering, what the heck is a Werehog? Well, the Werehog was a form Sonic took on during my favorite Sonic game, Sonic Unleashed. I will try not to spoil the story, but basically, Sonic got exposed to a lot of this stuff called Dark Gaia Energy, which causes him at night to turn into the Werehog, with the main gimmick of that game being Night and Day, with you during the day playing as normal day Sonic, blasting through levels at high speeds, and then at night playing as the slower paced Werehog with stretchy arms and hand-to-hand -hand combat moves. Super awesome. Anyways, as for him in Team Sonic Racing, which is another racing game, I think it would be so cool to see him there. My idea is to make him a Halloween update, and maybe they could even add a track inspired by Pumpkin Hill. Also, I already know what his Team Ultimate could be, which is the song that plays when the character's card, like, races forward. There is an amazing cover of the Werehog battle theme made by Thomas Graves, so definitely go check it out. This metal cover, I think, fits in very well with TSR, and is kind of similar to Blaze's guitar version of Vela Nova for her Team Ultimate, so Sega, you know what to do. 
Finally, my last idea is a Sonic 06 remaster. As a person who does own this game, I can't ignore the problems that it does have, mainly the glitches. However, I am one of the few people that absolutely adore this game. Sonic 06 had so much potential to be an amazing game, but so many people just teared it apart because of the glitches. But if you look past that, you have a great game, good stories, there are three to play through, good levels, great music. So many great things, which is why I think this game would look great with upgraded visuals. Keep all of the original voice acting and just polish up the rest of the game and it will be amazing. Now, there is a similar project out there called Sonic P06, which is basically trying to do the same thing. But I want this to officially happen, so maybe they can both work together to make this happen. So, the moral of the story is, Sega, please hire me.